dear friends uh, in the previous video we discussed about the judgment delivered by honorable justice uh, v lakshmi narayanan of honorable madras high court the matter concerns the interim maintenance payable to a muslim married women uh, not a divorcee uh, and her child in this powerpoint there are two parts which we are going to discuss a gist of the judgment that was delivered by the honorable judge i request you to read the first part to get a better picture of this my idea of doing this uh, this is a very good judgment no doubts about it then i am looking it from the angle of a court crafting techniques suppose this case this is a case where the women the married lady living separately with a child she claims maintenance and uh, interim petition and the husband uh, is not interested to pay the husband is a doctor very renowned doctor newly married and there are a lot of problems uh, in the family compromises are being uh, held negotiations consolations and all but then it looks that is something which uh, makes the husband not to live with the wife and the child we'll take up how the judge went on it's a wonderful judgment because the judge himself has in depthly studied the subject as we explained to you honorable justice uh, lakshmi narayan is basically a very intellectually a well educated well, well, you know a repository of knowledge because one is in generally is intelligent person second is uh, he was the editor of uh, madras law journal before being appointed and a very committed uh, uh, you know nice person i mean as a lawyer i know him little but uh, everybody who appears before him before the lordships will they say it is a feast of knowledge and you can see the judgment we are going to spread bare analysis uh, analyze the judgment yes so here uh, for students of law the principles you are conducting moot courts and uh, you are we are uh, the the object of training a student he may not be all the students may not get placements in very big uh, law firms and the demands of these firms is too much so i am making an effort to do analyze how if you are the counsel of the uh, appellant that is the husband if you are the counsel for the uh, wife what is the case you should know how to put across your view points and how to proceed uh understanding the bench before you move the uh, your arguments before the bench you have to understand the mind of the judge and the knowledge and uh, etc and then uh, you have to do your best job as you all know dear friends a lawyer is a court officer counsel the first duty to the lawyer counsel is to the court you have to present all the facts factual in information before the court based on that only the honorable judge will decide you cannot expect the judge to understand what is inside and all based on the material placed before the lordships they will decide the matter right now from that angle i'll take when i start the judgment uh, analysis of the judgment uh, even you read the judgment but the facts are important and uh, in that facts 
what would have been the matter that would have clicked the judge's mind? See, normally I understand that the judge would have had a clear idea. This is how the judgment is going to deliver. Based on which he will prepare his own arguments. Because the learned judges are conscious that the appellate court should not set aside. They are more uh, worried than the litigants. Lot of reading, lot of judgments and then within a short span of time, they have to deliver so many, hear the cases, deliver judgments. It's a very tough task for honorable judges. Mistakes do happen. and uh, But then you in the Indian system is a three-tier system in a appeal is there, first court, appeal court and Supreme Court. But we told you that uh, we have to prepare for Supreme Court. The party lost will go to the appeal. That's all. So in this background, I feel first the from the the women's side, the wife side, she has a child, and uh, the husband is a very highly doctor, very accomplished doctor. And he's refusing to pay even for the child's education. So the facts of the case are totally against the husband. It's totally against the husband. So the counsel for the husband will be in a lot of the trouble to win this case, which is impossible. Second, the judge. The judge is highly learned judge. Uh, with um, amazing command, you must understand the judge background before you come to the court. Who is this honorable judge? He's a tons of knowledge. Split to you, meet you. As a lawyer, uh, uh, many of our friends will say, in fingertips, any matter. Because he's basically, a, he was editing the uh, journal, um, law journal of the best judgments, as we are doing. Of course, we are doing in a very small way. So the case is as good as gone the appeal court. Uh, already the lower court has uh, come in favor of the husband, uh, wife. And that has to be upheld. By settling the law, that is very difficult for let us see what is what are the issues. Before I go to the judgment, this is a detailed analysis. Uh, keeping the uh, young lawyers and just we're going to pass the uh, completing the, uh, the legal course um, for those students in the law college. I'm more concerned about that spreading because we are coming out within Telugu also we have prepared, Tamil we have prepared and then the Hindi. So that uh, uh, one is uh, our uh, Madras High Court has got the very good judges. The same case is uh, dealt uh, but by Honorable Justice uh, Dandapani. This is in favor of the lady. That case was against the lady. But he analyzed it extraordinarily well. That's a, a 76 pages judgment. And uh, rape, uh, it is uh, sexual assault and rape. What a beautiful uh, judgment he made. These are all non, real knowledge driven. So we have put almost all our judges, uh, many judgments we are reading. I am glad some of the students are analyzing the judgments and giving it to me for analysis. Therefore, based on that only inputs and based on my little available time, I'm doing it. So let us go to the next level. This is the judgment of Honorable Madras High Court, Justice V. Lakshmi Narayanan, part two. And he's uh, Justice, a uh, very young man, young judge, uh, Lordships is very young. Uh, that is one very fund of knowledge is there. And um, what is the issue that Lordships has to decide? And uh, this is the issue before the bench. Please note, when the judgment is delivered, it becomes the judgment of Honorable Madras High Court. There's no personal opinions will be there. Even that judge, you cannot correct it unless it's a review petition. So therefore, this is the ju judgment of Honorable Madras High Court delivered by Honorable V. Lakshmi, Justice V. Lakshmi Narayan. 
This is the issue. Muslim married women is entitled to interim maintenance. Whether one. And uh, the petition was based on section 151 of the CPC. Whether the section 157, 151 is uh, invoking the inherent jurisdiction, invoking the inherent jurisdiction. So whether that is maintainable in this case, that is the simple uh, point so far as the adjudication is concerned. But then this is a Muslim uh, personal law that's being dealt with. So one has to be to settle the law and this is a constitutional court. Right. Now, uh, I was, as I told you, the judgment when you see, when we're reading the judgment, facts of the case, you can find the mind of the judge. But then that is uh, after arguments as a lawyer. But there is another thing is when you are reading the case itself, you know, comparing the judge himself. Because uh, uh, this is a case come uh, to uh, favorable, should be, will be favorable to the fair sex, that is the women. And in this case, this uh, highly educated doctor not paid anything to the child. That's all the case is highly 100% lost at the time of filing itself is my humble opinion. But still that uh, counsel tried her best uh, to appeal. Uh, it's a beautiful discussion is what very important, very much important. The position of maintenance on the Christian Islamic law, he discussed that. 23, up to 23 facts of the case. 23 to 29, it is a knowledge-driven subject. That the judge is speaking based on his knowledge. You understand? So he's going into the background of the Islamic law. And uh, then uh, he took up the Lord Sheets have taken up uh, uh, history of dissolution of Muslim Marriage Act. Relevant, uh, you know, the highly knowledgeable people will not uh, flood the thing, but then exact points they will raise. So therefore, they are very important for students of law or the young uh, lawyers. So this is discussed. We will take up para 35, 35. So. The right to seek maintenance under 151 of the Civil Procedure Code, nine paragraphs he deliberated. Because this is the under challenge. One is whether the Muslim women are at all eligible by taking on the scripts, scriptures of Islamic law. In that uh, Madam argued. And second is 151. It's a very strange situation. Inherent jurisdiction. Can you apply? Whereas there are the judgments which are against this uh, uh, provision to be applied. So he, lordships have gone through and did a lot of study on that. So, this is the 151 is very good, well dealt, dealt with, including uh, Justice uh, Chief Justice of India Ramana's judgment. And uh, he has introduced uh, another doctrine that is socio economic justice and right to interim maintenance. And uh, so, learning points what I'm trying to say is what I'm going to speak on is this. Then he went on to, Lord Shitz went on to uh, purposive interpretation of the dissolution of Muslim marriage act. Here, purpose, purposive or beneficial legislation in favor of the uh, deprived. That is how the law court will look at it. And he, uh, Lord Shitz have uh, got it. Now, he wanted to, uh, Lord Shitz wanted to, to strengthen his order because the other side is the advocate, the counsel uh, for representing the doctor who's earning uh, quite a lot of money and a highly come. So they will, and since it's coming to appeal against the order of the lower court, uh, surely it will go to Supreme Court for decision making. Uh, that is sometimes, you know, personal relationships, uh, uh, husband and wife, uh, only if you, um, one year of marriage, they'll be very, very close. Thereafter, they'll fight like cats and dogs. And uh, what the poor child has done. So therefore, even in Supreme Court, uh, he will not get relief. But then, 
the matter will go to supreme court therefore the uh, lordship uh, wanted to uh, prove his intellectual prowess and create a strength to the jurisprudence of this uh, muslim marriage uh, dissolution act and all so he took up the domestic violence which is applicable to all is a right in rem and uh, muslim law is a personal law personal understanding the right uh, within the constitutional framework so see how many points the honorable judge took up for discussion uh, because any judge uh, once he decides that they seeing the parties the matter will go above appeal stage then they will have to be extremely careful and being a very knowledgeable person uh, the judges and in fingertips all the judgments would like to add contribute to these things um like uh, you know v ram subramaniam justice he was also like this trying to take up the situation i remember uh, mr ram subramaniam first case came is uh, one film actor um divorce case came and uh, exactly in the first stage in 2006 i think uh, in that judgment came a uh, fantastic judgment and this also that is an hindu law <clears throat> because that, that film actor was a uh, phil uh, the hindu that is easy but muslim law is a personal law you are intruding into a personal law which are governed by different uh, sharia laws and all that therefore the judge has taken uh, a different route and uh, this is what he has explained uh, the constitutional framework and uh, then finally he made sure that uh, it is full proof that his judgment will withstand uh, any strong winds of appeal uh, grounds role of justice equity and good conscience in determining the matters of maintenance and the decision there are totally 75 paras of the law laid down is finally the law laid down please remember friends second part uh, continuation is there analysis of the judgment is there which can we can take it as a part 3 and that means you are like a store i mean detailed studies more for the people who are going to practice because uh, i want my videos to be remembered in detail step by step so earlier last one i have made one the first one and now this we have put it in uh, uh, this things the interim maintenance under section 151 of the code of civil procedure 19 can be granted to a um, muslim woman in suit filed under dissolution of marriage this is the law let it lay down then the judgment of the honorable division bench of this honorable higher uh, court here what happened if you go through i will see the counsel for the uh, appellant uh, cited uh, madhya pradesh high court rajasthan high court where the uh, muslim women are not entitled to these things so that was what decided but the lord shit uh, uh, justified it because when the division bench of honorable this honorable court which is more binding whereas the judgments of the single judge of uh, different states will be only persuasive value so and here he distinguished that uh, section 2 2 and 4 of that domestic violence act and muslim marriage act and all when the relationship between the parties is not in dispute that is at the point in existence the court has inherent power to grant interim maintenance though the dissolution of muslim marriage act 1939 does not contain a specific provision for grant of interim maintenance this is the point which uh, well laid down section 2 to intention of legislature he relied upon the lordships that non payment of maintenance is a ground for divorce the absence of the words without reasonable cause as contained in section 2 4 indicates that duty to provide maintenance is continuous the hadith and uh, the views of islamic scholars support the right of maintenance of wife and child so make sure that the when you are entering into the personal law then uh, what their law says my judge their this judgment is in accordance with their provisions also it is not complete deviation and uh, something which is being decided the has the provision of muslim marriage act and section 151 of cpc 
The family court can grant interim maintenance by invoking section 26 of Domestic Violence Act. So, and the grant of maintenance is equivalent to granting an equal opportunity. It's a new doctrine. And making the litigative uh, playing field equal in terms of 39A of the Constitution of India. See, the husband is in a particularly uh, in such a situations and personal Muslim laws. Husband is highly educated, doctor. And uh, he was taking a stand, I'm spending one crore rupees loan, I have to repay. However, you repay anything you want, but doesn't matter. But what about what for your earning? It's for your child. That's your investment. So the council itself uh, put that uh, two crores, uh, one crore loan is there, he's earning 2.5 lakhs. He's a very highly reputed and all. It means that the case itself is gone at the time of argument. But then the learned judge wanted to make sure this is a, a live example to be relied by the Indian courts all over. So introduce that uh, fair play, you know, the fair sex. Already they would have spent a lot of money. Nobody will marry uh, just like that. A doctor means the, how much dowry they will take. That may not be the issue because the divorce has not taken place. But uh, the, the parents would have spent a lot of money. It is no need to say that. And now that fellow does not want to pay money. And even for the child, and uh, how will you? You just can't do all that. But then to support uh, that uh, level playing field is a new doctrine introduced by the lordships. Uh, then section 16 of Madra Civil Courts Act. Whenever a question regarding succession inherent Inheritance and maintenance arises. The court, where no specific rule exists, will have to decide the issue according to justice, equity, and good conscience. It is a, you can see the end judge who is looking from his angle, one, settling the jurisprudence because he's very conscious, Lordship, that he's intruding into personal of another religion which they are very sensitive, we all know. Secondly, first he justified, the Lordship justified through, even according to the a Muslim personal law, maintenance should be paid. It is the duty um, a prophet, uh, he uh, quoted there, that, that uh, taking care, a part of your money has to be spent towards the growth of your child, well-being, growing up, education, and it is your duty. Duty is cast upon. So after that only the judgment takes the various uh, 151 why you should apply. How is it justified with different doctrines? And uh, it is a very good judgment. I repeat again how the Lordships went through the judgment. Uh, this is, uh, we have to see, you know, when you are going for Supreme Court in the matter, uh, how the Supreme Court, you know, in the Honorable Supreme Court, when it goes as SLP, they will come prepared. Uh, within minutes, uh, they will decide because they are also judges like this, uh, Lakshmina and Justice with knowledge, uh, much uh, more experience. You know, but, um, therefore, they will come within minutes, the judgment main issues they will go through. Only these points they will go through and they will decide, oh, well done. Maybe they would like to add some other things. But uh, you see the judgment drafting. For a lawyer, we should know the expert judge is sitting, how you have to pray place it. The other judge uh, who is appearing for uh, uh, the, the, that wife has no not much of work in courts like this because the judge will decide uh, they will, uh, what, what, what they will go through. Uh, just tell the facts and ensure the facts are not in dispute. Then thereafter judgment is delivered like that. So it is a very good judgment for all the principles of the colleges to circulate it to the students, dear friends. And uh, we are sending it to that personally talking to all the principals uh, so that, and now we have discussed in this, uh, uh, what is the facts of, what are the facts of the case? As the judge saw, and uh, if you see that 23 paragraphs, uh, the emphasis was child has not been taken care. The husband is doctor and doing very well. Therefore, it is an extremely good judgment. 
and uh, next uh, part we are writing and uh, meanwhile the telugu version is being released you may have to go through that so dear friends uh, we are now coming out the same judgment uh, from the angle of the young advocates more uh, focus is made on the uh, principles uh, to circulate it and teach the students how the judgment has to be read we can develop uh, it is not that what i am saying is correct or false my way of thinking we can develop judgments uh, deliberations so that this is how a judgment is how the judge is looking at it what are the facts through which the uh, parties are going what is the strength of the case and what are the um, grounds in which uh, the weak uh, case side will be arguing and all thank you dear friends we will go to the next one is in telugu we are releasing it now